Hello YouTube, I just got back from uh, from the range and I shot uh, the Beretta Jetfire that I bought last week. When I bought the gun, the gun had no magazines, so I put an order for a Magcar, brand new Magcar. And you know, Magcar makes uh, wonderful magazines for a lot of uh, gun companies out there and it, it's been proved to be reliable so if you follow my channel you probably know about the Beretta Bobcat or 201 a that I have for a couple of years now the jet fire is a little bit different this one is used it's got a single action uh, trigger it's got a safety just on this side. The safety can't be uh, used if the gun doesn't have uh, the hammer cocked. So you gotta have it in half cock or full cock in order to use the safety, okay? So, yeah. And uh, I found this trigger to be wonderful you know very consistent 1911 like it's a little bit heavier it's breaking in about six or seven pounds but very consistent the 21a has a single action double action that means uh the first shot if the hammer is down you just have like a revolver trigger and revolver like and when the hammer is back next shots will be uh, single action. The problem with that is the trigger is very recessed when it's in single action mode. It breaks far back. Uh, even though I like the single action on this gun, but I don't like where it breaks. So I prefer a jet fire. I'm a Beretta guy. I have the M9, I have the 84, and a couple of others uh, in 22, uh, 21, uh, in, in 22, long rifle on 25. And, uh, you know, the PX4 Storm, I love Berettas and I love everything about Berettas. So in this video, I share uh, my first experience with my Beretta Jetfire. Okay, I had one of these when I was a police officer down in Brazil, used as a backup back in the days. Very easy to conceal this thing. And uh, it's more of a uh, nostalgia thing to me because my carry is not a 25 ACP. I don't even think about carrying these guns. But uh, I kind of like going uh, to the range and putting some rounds down. And in the video I share, the ammunition I shot, uh, I, if I'm not mistaken, I used gold dot, spear gold dot, uh, 35 grain, mag, um, I don't know, it's, yeah, I had a Fiocchi, 50 grain, in Meg something I can't recall. You're gonna see on the video, so, or I'll put in the description. So, here's to the uh, range. First time my Beretta Jet Fire 950 is used as you can see 
when I bought it, it didn't have a magazine, but I ordered a net car magazine, brand new. So let's see how this is going uh, to shoot. It's, it's a good gun. Overall, the Beretta Jet 5 single action, uh, it's always a good uh, trigger and the accuracy is not bad. I have a, a, a Bobcat 21A, in the same caliber, this is 25 ACP or 635 millimeter, like they say in Europe. And uh, also have some ammunition to test. Um, I'll try the uh, gold out, 35 grain, okay. Also have MagTech and Fiocchi, which is the first round of the first magazine will be with Fiocchi. Uh, this is supposed to work good because this is uh, Fiocchi always uh, load a little bit uh, more than the standard pressure. So I'm gonna set up the camera on the tripod and let's see how this first nine round goes. One thing I noticed when uh, the gun had the first round on the target, my thumb activated the safety. So this is one of the things I'll have to really pay attention to. When you're shooting this gun, keep your thumb down. Now I'm going to try the uh, Gold dot, spear gold dot, 35 grain. Let's see how the thing goes. The spear packs a punch. It is a little bit more powerful than the uh, Fiocchi, uh, which is expected because it's a self-defense round. So nine shots, no problem at all. I'll cut up a little bit, then I'll be back with the MagTech. Let's do the MagTech 50 grain standard pressure. Let's see how it goes. Rounds went through the pipe, no problem, no failures to feed, no failures to reject. All right, um, let's bring uh, you know, the camera a little bit closer. 
you can see uh, As you can see, uh, it's not bad. Uh, the accuracy is not too bad. This is the first time I shoot the Jetfire. I'm used to the Bobcat 21A. So this is pretty good, uh, you know, or I can say acceptable accuracy for a small pistol. I'll try to do more range time with it and uh, and I'll share my impressions with you guys.